movie is Lawrence of Arabia, the great 1962 epic film by David Lean that made an international star out of Peter O'Toole. The movie was an enormous hit when it first came out. It won seven Oscars, including Best Picture, but it was mistreated all the same. Lean's original version was shot by 20 minutes shortly after it first opened. Another 15 minutes were taken out a few years later, and somewhere along the way, the entire second reel got flipped so that left became right and right became left. But now, Columbia Pictures and film expert Robert A. Harris have restored the original version of Lawrence. They've gone back to the negative, which was in pretty bad shape, been able to restore the original color. They've added missing scenes. They've corrected the focus. They've even flipped that second reel so the camels are going in the right direction. The movie still has the same haunting mystery, the same epic sweep, and the same overwhelming sense of place in the desert. Is dead. Yes. Why? This is my well. I have drunk from it. You are welcome. So long as the Arabs fight tribe against tribe, so long will they be a little people, a silly people, greedy, barbarous, and cruel, as you are. Lawrence of Arabia stars O'Toole as T.E. Lawrence, an Englishman who identified himself so closely with the Arab campaigns against the Turks in World War I that he began to dress as an Arab and to win their confidence as a leader. Come on, then! <laughs> now, this was a daring and mannered performance by Peter O'Toole, who struts and poses in his Arab robes like a cross between a rock star and a fashion model. Arthur Kennedy plays an American journalist in this scene, modeled after Lowell Thomas, who filed the stories that made Lawrence famous. Start if I take your picture. All right. Okay. Just walk. So what you get is a great historical figure seems to be posing there almost like he's just kind of thrilled to be getting his picture taken. Right. Of course, I saw Lawrence of Arabia when it was first released, but what I missed the first time around, maybe because I was too young to really pick up on it, was the irony in Peter O'Toole's performance. Lawrence isn't simply a hero, he's a brilliant but narcissistic madman who begins to think of himself as the savior of the Arabs. The movie is really about the ironic process by which he becomes a legend while losing his grip on reality and alienating most of the people he deals with. And yet he has some glorious adventures while he's self-destructing, and O'Toole commands a strong supporting cast, including Omar Sharif, Anthony Quinn, Alec Guinness. Hollywood doesn't have the nerve to make movies like this anymore, but at least they have the willingness to restore them. Uh, I saw, had many of the same thoughts. I hadn't seen the picture in a theater since its initial release, and I was uh, 16 at the time. And uh, it was, it, I'll only say this, don't wait for any video version for this to come out. This is the picture that demands to be seen in the theater where we saw it. And the bigger the screen, the better. You didn't even mention the soundtrack, which has been restored, have, yeah. and it is wonderful. I mean, of course, the, the musical themes, and they have three musical themes uh, for the uh, Arabs, for uh, Lawrence, and for the British. It's a beautiful score. Uh, the interesting thing about O'Toole's performance, in addition to what you mentioned, uh, and, and the character of Lawrence, is that his goals are noble. The unification of the Arabs, which today is a topical issue. I found the film incredibly topical for today. Today's audience is thinking about that part of the world. And of course, the imagery there, the ability to make you focus your eyes in a long distance looking on the sands for the small vastness, objects. The vastness. The that vastness is such a greatness, a great thing by David Lean. Now, you know, the irony is, I agree with you, that this is a movie to be seen on the biggest screen you can find, and it's being re-released around the country, one city at a time, right. in 70 millimeter, first in New York, Washington, and Los Angeles. The irony is, of course, that this re restoration would have never taken place if it weren't for home video, because right. that's how they'll get the money to Ex pay for it. Exactly. But the scene you're talking about, Lawrence goes out into the desert to find a man who's lost. Right. And there, there's a shot where there's just a dot, right. the, a dot at the horizon. You could not see that on home video. It is so dramatic when that human being turns up in that screen. And we are set up for the dot when we're asked to spot a, a tribe in the beginning, and we can't find it. But, yeah. but the guy, the uh, Bedouin with uh, Lawrence, he can find he can it. He can see it. And we can't. I mean, the film is extraordinary. It's a great film.